Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake again. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, well, having managed to arm himself, Wake must continue to the Anderson farm and find the secret message the crazy brother is claimed to have left for him. I mean, they're not crazy, they're senile, it's different. You know, mental illness can be treated, and I encourage people to seek out therapy if they think it would help. But, uh, senility... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know that there's a fix for that at all. I have already forgotten... No, Osborne! That's what it was. Yes, Osborne Rangefinder. I wonder if they have one of those in here. I wonder whose cars these are. Oh, right. They, yeah, they don't leave bodies behind. You know, under the circumstances, I feel like I should do that. And they do have an Osborne Finder. He's going to send a little map on it. Aw. Oh, I see. Yes, I thought it was like a visual thing where you like line it up and then crouch down or something to li make it line up with your eyes. But now I realize, oh no, it's just finding where the thing is on this map. Neat. Or maybe I'm out to lunch and they just decorated with the map because I thought it would look pretty. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the Weather Service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The Sheriff's Department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the Sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out Sorry in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Maid on KBF FM, hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. Okay. Would've been clever, but no. Yeah, two in the brain pan will do that. Let's keep driving Walter's beater. I mean, after all, technically it's our fault he's dead. God, the sense of responsibility if you knew what was happening. A story that will not only save the world from evil, but will, uh, you know, read like a good novel. God, I thought those bushes up there were a cemetery for a second. Where are you assholes coming from? 
Well, I mean, obviously you're coming out of nowhere, I know that. that guy away completely. And this car is doing real bad. Fuck you, buddy! Okay, since the flashlight, the flashlight, the, uh, the headlights kept blinking in and out, Let's go get a different car. Jeez, oh, where was that tower? There. How does I feel about, you know, all these deaths? We kind of need to survive in order to make it fucking worth it, you know? Ooh, this one handles a lot better. Oh! Whoa! Oh, I don't know, it actually made my, like, my entire body tense up, like it was actually spinning out in a car. Oh, I see, yes. Right, yes, yes, I remember now. I hope I did, because I went and they fucked up my car. I don't suppose I'll get real, real lucky and, uh... I mean, it doesn't help that I've gotten so turned around since then that I have absolutely no idea where the in the field the thing will be. I don't think this is that field. I think it was the one right in front of the house. Oh, this isn't even a right, uh... Oh no, the road does go in this direction. It's just the wrong direction. Is this what I got here? Yes, I think it is. Yeah, okay. Oh! How am I meant to go over there? Huh. Oh, I see, I think. Does this go up? No. It does go around, at least. Oh, I see. How do they want me to do this on foot? Okay, real talk, I was uh, talking about the giant construction machine over there saying, if, you know, I was stopping to say, if that thing's a poltergeist, I swear to God, and then I heard the guys showing up and I realized, oh, it kind of looked like I knew they were coming. But no, I am not that badass. God damn it! God, it wasn't moving. Oh, it was a train platform. That's why it wasn't moving. It wasn't sitting on tracks. How pretty. Old-timey windmill. Well, 
Well, this looks important. You know, offhand, I would say this is the place. Oh, yes, okay, fine. All right, we're gonna drop down. Take this nice and methodical. Trying not to take too long, because again, enemies. Maybe infinite spawning. But hold on to this and just don't let go until it brings you up there. That doesn't even seem to be a fucking window I could climb in if that were an option. one hand, I am in the middle of an open field, so uh, the only way the Taken will be able to sneak up on me is if the Widow puts them directly behind me, which I would not put, you know, beyond her. You know, boy, being a huge monster and all. A literal one in this case. distance between the door and the thing, so I just kind of assumed a Taken is going to pop out. Nice. Pretty sure you can just mash B and it'll pick the things up faster than that, but I like the animation. Stay away from my daughter. Yep, they're farmers, all right. Yours, buddy. Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought there was going to be ammo in the bath. That was messed up! I do not think I found that the first time. I just pulled those corpses out of their graves and turned them into projectile weapons. Holy shit, Barbara! I mean, I get that you're literally inhuman and all, but fuck. There's literally nothing in here. Did I make a wrong turn? Have I been in here? It'll be very clever, as if your uh, health very slightly regenerated whenever they did a uh, lightning flash. Yes, they really do have a full stage set up here. Fireworks and everything. That could be the ledge. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. I'm 
Damn. So glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot. Oh, we skipped one. Ow! We have to fight him off! I can tell Okay, okay, uh, real quick. Uh, the heavy duty flashlight uh, adds uh, more focusing time to the flashlight. You know, you can focus the beam for longer without running out of batteries. Uh, there is also a handheld lantern, you know, like the the, the one with like the one of those big square boxy batteries in it. And uh, that one, it focuses the light more intensely than a flashlight, so it burns it away faster. But it also burns it away fast. It also drains faster than a regular flashlight. What I've just found is the heavy duty lantern, the best goddamn light in the game, which uh, has more focusing power and more focusing time. After a rogue lightning strike activates playback and pyrotechnics on the stage, Wake and Barry must survive the massive taken assault on the field near the Anderson farm. For the fireworks from here and help you out! There's a lot of ammo and stuff around? This place is stopped! What the fuck? Ow, hold on! I'll try to get the stage lights on! Oh. Alright. This is going to prove difficult. Yes, I am aware how so dodging glad works. I decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot! Ow! We have to fight them off! Fuck all of you! Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? This place is stopped! Al! Oh. I thought I had to manually trigger the sequence. Huh. Oh no! Oh, by the way, this is old, uh, old Poets of the Fall singing an Old Gods of Asgard song. It's called Children of the Elder God. Yes! Here we go! Barry Wheeler to the rescue! Oh, damn it! Goddamn turn of the century wiring! Hang on up! I'll get the work again, I promise! Just realized he's talking about the turn of the 21st century. Ah! What I say? I knew it. Okay, okay. Mulligan questions Nightingale's orders. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think riders were particularly useful people. Aww. A huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. I find it interesting that not only did they typo struck as stuck, but uh, the actor actually read it out that way. Run! Oh good, I can't.
I was reaching out for the, uh... Oh no! Jet back and clawed! Oh! Oh, that's just a, a knife or something. Falls, rock and roll capital of America. <laughs> hey, Al! This way to the farm! I'm gonna go make sure I had that page, and then I'm going to, uh... I guess call it. <gasps> I actually did an outro and an intro, but I uh, guess I was closer to the end of that sequence than I thought I was, as I remembered it being a super big ball ache the first time around. Like, on the level of how much struggling I did, ironically, with the big musical moment from Control. Excellent. Yes, good. So, uh, I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake Again! When we, uh... Make our way to the Anderson farm and see what knowledge awaits us there. Till then, do like Barry suggests, and stay in the light.